what is the content that you should choose? So let me ask you guys, before you choose a content, how, what are the questions you ask yourself or what makes you choose a content that you feel is right for your channel? Is there anyone who would answer this? Um, I think I would uh, answer this. So I think uh, content comes from the things that you are passionate about. For example, I'm passionate about books. So I think that is something that I look forward to and I present book summaries like every week. So I think it's, our passions are drive. That is something that you know, helps so us find yeah something that you believe that you have a passion about that means you can only make something interesting when you are interested so that's one point correct any other answers any other inputs uh, before starting my youtube channel i thought of one thing that uh, in which topic i can create 10 uh, videos just now so when i get the answer then I thought of that, yes, I am going to uh, work on this only because if on this moment only I can think of 10 topics and 10 videos that I can post on YouTube and which could be, you know, uh, relevant uh, to users also. And I personally believe that, yes, I can mark it as uh, one of the best videos. So that defines me that, yes, where, this is where I can work more on. Wait, like, so on sustainability. Time. That means something that you know that you can continue to make uh, content on, continue to make videos on. So that is a topic you would like to choose. Very well uh, said. Yeah. And when there, I would yes. chip in here and say one thing that, you know, we want the session to be interactive. So I would request the participants to please show their lovely faces and, you know, yeah. make it more alive so that even we get that kind of energy that we, uh, you know, expect from the participants. So it would yeah. be really nice, you know, if we could... If all the participants could do that. Yes, I mean, that would be lovely to interact instead of uh, the black screens uh, or Galaxy S8 rather to an, uh, an individual. So <laughs> that would be wonderful if you could uh, turn your cameras on if possible. Uh, yes. Uh, I'll Meanwhile, do that uh, in a minute. Let me no, set no up because I was just sitting. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Take your time. Meanwhile, any other answers, any other inputs anybody would like to share? Okay, so um, all right, let me in that case answer on your behalf because I guess Taiba has not really given me too much of a time slot, so I think we need to, yeah, uh, speed it up. So, very important thing first of all, you need to understand that the content you're going to make is it going to solve any problem? Is it going to be a problem solver? Do people really need it? That's a very important question to ask. Oftentimes we make a video, we make videos on certain content which is of no use to people. So most importantly, think of your viewers. Think that is it going to solve any purpose to them? Maybe it is something which can entertain them. We are very distressed life. Maybe they can get some lighter moments. Thumbs up. Maybe you're teaching something they really need. Maybe you're helping them understand the book review in case before they just go through a book, they know whether the book is good or not. So anything for that matter, which is solving one of the concerns, that is something should be your content, number one. Number two, like Taiba said, it is important that you should be interested in that. You can only create something interesting when you yourself are interested. When you're enjoying yourself, it comes naturally to you and people get more connected. Third thing, which is again, um, very important is, you need to understand, is it something which is pretty much available? Is it something which is a long lasting topic or is it just going to be a short lived topic? Because I have come across a channel that is only and only focused to COVID-19. Now once COVID-19 is gone, the channel has nothing at all to produce. So you need to also understand something that is long lasting. That means you still have something to share. It is not about two months, three months, four months job. It should be an evergreen content. That is what you need to look into and once you decide after getting all these questions just try to brainstorm which you know takes all the boxes correct you're interested you're solving a problem it is something which is going to be liked by people and it has something which is which is going to stay for long then you choose that content and start making videos about it 
other important thing is make sure that you go through all the other uh, youtubers who are making video of the similar topic and just go through their videos try to find out what exactly are they doing good and what is missing in their videos what element is missing that is an opportunity for you to come across with something that is going to fill that void you need to be a little different from others either choose a topic which nobody has touched have the monopoly if not then try to see how you can be different for the same topic from others that is again something very very important that will help you stand out once you have done all this homework the important thing is once you make your video make sure the first video first four to five videos should not be very long and lengthy however it is a debatable topic it depends on the genre that you select it depends on the topic you want to select but i would still encourage and insist that try not to have 15 20 25 minutes of video to start with because people want to experiment spending less time in youtube the currency that you use to buy any product is your time so you need to make sure people do not really spend much so 2 minutes to 5 minutes is a very idle time it depends on the topic to topic could be less could be more but try to make it as short as possible covering all the subject yet not being boring other point is your videos should really have something very interesting for the first 10 seconds your first 10 seconds are very very crucial so you need to make sure you hook your audience in first 5 to 10 seconds otherwise no matter how important how good your video is once you go deeper it's of no use people would immediately leave after being bored in 10 to 15 seconds that's another important aspect and before you start you should always tell your client your viewers what exactly is there in the video for them it should not be something that they do not know example you have got a channel which has to do about cooking so first show the final product what exactly have you cooked and then tell that this is how we going to cook it so this is what i'm going to teach you this is how it is going to look like once the cooking is done or something that is about painting you're going to teach somebody how to paint or how to draw something first show the final product that this is a painting today i'm going to teach you about this is the drawing i'm going to teach you about so people know what exactly is there in it for them so that they should glue to it and keep on reminding them that why they should watch the video till the end most importantly one more very important thing is like i said in the previous session as well always connect and consult your customers your customers here are your viewers so you need to engage them by asking questions you need to consult them by asking questions that what do they need what is their problem area what is their interest area that they want to you to make videos of once their suggestion comes in that means they really see you as a pro problem solver and that is when you make a video at least you know some people are going to watch it and not only going to watch it they're going to share it as well also think about a video that is shareable think of the last time when you shared somebody's video and think about it why did you share it what element was there that you made that made you share that video try to bring that element to your video so people should share it they feel like you know sharing with their friends or relatives or anyone so that is something you need to work upon so it is something planning is very important let's say if you get 1 hour to uh, you know cut the tree take 45 minutes to sharpen your knife so plan well so that you can execute well the more you sweat in the net the lesser you bleed in the battle is what they say so that's how i wind up i guess i don't have much time left over taiba and i wish you all the very best uh start your channel choose the right content choose the right strategy and learn something which ankit is going to share with the su as well and uh, make a mark show the world what you have to show wish you all the very best all the viewers thank you thank you manjit i have uh, time if you, you have, have any questions minutes. Yeah, have, I would love to answer those. Yeah, yeah, we have two to three minutes. Uh, if you want to take uh, one or two questions, you can. Yes, I mean, as long as I have time, I would love to answer. Yeah. Yeah. So we have two three minutes. So. So. Sure. And I would Hi. request all. Yeah. Hi. Yes, this Divya. is Divya. Yes, Divya. How are you? Yeah. So um, I run a channel. I I am good. How are you? I'm doing great too. Thank you. Yeah. 
so i run a youtube channel but that is more of entertainment based i dance i read the poetry i perform something but it's not about service based so i am really confused like how i mean maybe i can teach the uh, dance maybe but i would more like to you know dance uh, for the for the people i mean it's more like entertainment so how how do i promote that because i have seen like i am running this for 3 years now but i have very less subscribers see yeah, entertainment itself is a problem solving thing because nowadays we have got just life we really want to see something that can give us little lighter moments something that we even enjoy watching and dance is one thing that almost everybody connects with so i think it's not important that it's not necessary that you only have to teach how to dance but even if you're dancing well which is entertaining me in a way i am feeling great about i would love to spend more and more time and dance and songs are something i mean education is rather uh, more difficult to glue people but entertainment is rather an easier thing everybody wants it isn't it so i think you have a very good topic you have got a good thing to uh, go ahead with but yes you need to work on these strategies that is going to be discussed about ankit though but i think uh, keywords are very important you need to see uh, what kind of a keyword you are going to use what are going to be your titles like what is exact what exactly is your channel name these all things play a very vital role uh, at the same time i just have one question to ask the moment you make a video what is the next thing you do once you upload it on youtube what is the next um, thing you do uh, usually previously i i never focused on the description or on the title i just put it like raw but nowadays i am i'm focusing on the uh, on a little bit of editing and putting on descriptions and as you said the keywords i am putting it in the description and and the tags as well so uh, after i put the video you are asking what i do yes yeah do you i share, I, it, I share it on all my social i share it on all my social media platforms <laughs> and yeah. i keep on scrolling like uh, to see the views number of views <laughs> yes this is the mistake this is something which almost every new youtuber does Uh, so did I when I was pretty much uh, new in the this field. I mean, still new. Uh, do not try to share it to all the you know sources like WhatsApp, Facebook, and everywhere. But immediately after you you know upload your video, it truly really hampers your retention time. I had shown in the previous episode that how exactly it hampers it. So very important for you is to get YouTube's viewer at first place. Share your videos to other platforms. at least after 7 to 10 days that's going to be healthy for your uh, uh, channel immediately if you start sharing it it is going to kill your retention time and if it happens you get more of an external traffic youtube will not promote you further you will not be ranked up that's very very important thing youtube thinks it's a designed audience that means you your uh, you have created your own audience a forced audience which is viewing it and many times when you share it with somebody they just open it and they do not watch it full they watch for 10 seconds 20 seconds that hampers your retention time and that's one of the reasons why you're not able to reach your target audience i will just take one more minute huh? and very important thing is thumbnail very very important thing is thumbnail is more like a wrapper of your uh, video your product so make sure you make a very very compelling kind of a thumbnail that really make people click on it that has to be very interesting that has to be something that makes people curious and that really feel like yaar bahut acha lag raha hai isme dekho hai kya actually तो वो थमने का बड़ा अच्छा होना चाहिए सॉन्ग सिलेक्शन आप अच्छा रखिए दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज यू नो व्हिच कनेक्ट्स विद पीपल दैट्स अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट योर टाइटल हैज टू बी गुड टाइटल सर्च कैसे करना है आप एक बार रिकॉर्डिंग देखिएगा पिछली बार के सेशन की आपको मालूम पड़ेगा मैंने बहुत डिटेल में बताया हुआ है हैव शेयर्ड हाउ एग्जैक्टली यू हैव टू सर्च द राइट टाइटल फॉर योर वीडियोस दैट विल हेल्प यू टू रैंक अप एंड आई एम श्योर लॉट इज गोइंग टू बी शेयर्ड बाय अंकित एज़ वेल दैट्स गोइंग टू बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू रैंक योर चैनल अप ऑलराइट So you can always connect with us. We can answer all the questions. We would love to answer it, and I'm sure your channel would definitely get the space you're looking for. Yeah. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you, yeah. uh, Manvinder, for the amazing session and answering these questions so well.